Welcome to FireCAD Orientation Part 4, Placing System Devices. There are two ways to place system devices. The first method is to take them from the FireCAD device palette. The FireCAD device palette is normally docked on the left and the device tab is in the center of the FireCAD palette. We filter down for the part we want. We left click it and then we move over to our model space. Left click and then right click. The right click prompts us to give it a panel name, especially if it's a panel. And we should, even though it's optional. Giving a panel a panel name helps to identify the circuits that come from it later on in the process, especially if there are more than one panel on the drawing. This is panel P1. There is a second method to place system devices, and that is to replace selected AutoCAD objects. This means any AutoCAD object. It can be a circle, a line, a square, an AutoCAD block, or piece of text, or any other type of object in AutoCAD that represents the device we want. In this case, we're going to replace this circle and in order to make our job easier, we're going to filter down the block that is going to represent that device to an NFPA 170 smoke detector. Now we don't have as many parts to choose from. And now that we've got it down to that, we can go into the full text search box, type the first few letters of the part number if we know it, or look through the list and find it. And here we want to mention that you should be careful when you're placing smoke detectors, especially because you're going to come up in many cases with a lot of smoke detectors that begin with the same numbers or letters. And the reason for that is that FireCAD provides in many cases more than one part number of a detector, which is accompanied by a base and so we pair those up. The reason for this is that when connecting, we sometimes need to connect not just an SLC circuit, but also a power circuit, for example, for a sounder base or a relay base detector. So now that we've got that device replaced, let's look around on this drawing and we're going to see that somebody, perhaps an engineering company or somebody else, has placed ordinary AutoCAD blocks representing smoke detectors. FireCAD can't use these, but we can easily convert them. You can see that this is an ordinary AutoCAD block. It's called SD for smoke detector. But we're going to need to convert it. So we select it. And then using the ordinary AutoCAD select similar command, we now have selected all of them. Now we'll go back to that same replace selection with device command and replace them all. First, we filter down as we did before, finding specifically the right part number that we want to replace those ordinary AutoCAD blocks with. They have all now become FireCAD recognized smoke detectors. There they are, quite a few of them on all three levels of our example building. Now let's see exactly what we have done. Even though we're not completed, we can make a device legend at any time to see what we have, how many detectors, and what else we might have. In this case, we choose to use all as the option, not a selection. And we see that we have the total quantity here of smoke detectors and the control panel that we placed including some of the components in the control panel. 
This report that we just created is an AutoCAD block. All AutoCAD reports created in FireCAD are formed in the format of an AutoCAD block. But you can explode them and when you do they become AutoCAD tables. After becoming a table they can be subject to the rules of AutoCAD tables which we recommend that you learn. Here for example we have a column called existing which we don't want. So we select that column and we can delete it. Select it. From the ribbon above we get the AutoCAD table context commands and delete it. We can likewise go over to the right side where we have a lot of unused columns which we will talk about further in another lesson but for now we don't want them. We simply select them all and using the column delete command get rid of them. Another interesting thing you can do with AutoCAD tables is adjust the width of a column for example. We're going to do that now. So AutoCAD tables are very helpful. We recommend you learn all about them and use them to make your reports consistent, clear, and professional looking. Now we've completed placing devices, we can move on to part 5, connecting devices.